Hey you guys, this is Dawn from Sign Parties 101. Now I am out in my shop and I just thought I would show you how simple it is to get your mirror up and running to do your first cut. Now I know a lot of you are overwhelmed with all the things laser lately, but I wanted to show you how pretty simple it is and it is comparable a little bit to the Glowforge in the fact that there wasn't a lot to do with the Mira to get it up and running. So I'm just gonna show you that really simple. So come on, let's go. Okay, so here she is, she's a beauty. Um, I'm gonna show you my Mira 9. Now, the first thing you'll notice, it is on a homemade stand. Um, I did not order the stand that it came with, but you certainly can. They do offer a stand that it comes on, uh, but I wanted to create that one, uh, so actually my husband did. So we had storage and it was the exact dimensions that we wanted and so forth. So that is my stand. And in order to get it through my door into my shop, I needed to put it on its side. And so what we needed to do was take the chiller out, which is in the back. There's a panel that you take off and then you just pull the chiller out, unplug it and pull the chiller out. Um, that is one thing that's different. So this is a chiller as well, but this chiller goes with my Ohmtech laser. And so it is located outside of the machine where the chiller for the mirror is on the inside. And so that is very, very nice. Now, after you get the chiller back in, plug it back up, secure the back, you know, you're gonna get your venting hooked up and all that, and it's time to plug it in. So you're gonna go uh, plug your cord in, and then to turn it on, I already have mine on, but you just make sure the emergency stop is out and then you just turn the key and it turns on. So it is very, very simple. This USB port is the one that is connected to my computer. So that uh, needs to be plugged in in order for it, uh, your computer to read um, Lightburn. And then we're gonna go over and we're gonna do our first cut. So here is the bed. Now you notice I put in kind of a scrap sheet in there of eighth inch MDF. And I'm gonna show you how to move uh, the bed up and down and then how to autofocus, because that's one thing that I needed help with was autofocusing because I didn't have to do that um, with my other machines. So you're gonna go to your little screen right here and I'm gonna get it to a blank screen. And these arrows are how you move the gantry and the, uh, the laser head. So I'm just gonna go, that arrow moves that over the, the front arrow here moves it forward and so forth. So what you wanna do is put your um, pin right over your material. You wanna make sure that pin is on your material before you do your autofocus, okay? So once you have that pin on your material, you're gonna go over to your menu, press ZU, and your menu is gonna come up and you're gonna go down until it says autofocus. So you're gonna press the down arrow until that says autofocus. I'm gonna double check that my pin is over the material and I'm gonna hit enter. So now what that does is it raises and lowers this bed to get autofocused on the material that I have. So now I'm just gonna move the gantry out of the way and I'm gonna go over to my computer and show how to bring it in to Lightburn. Okay, so now I am in Lightburn and so I have a camera on my lid, so it's gonna show me exactly what's in the bed, similar to the Glowforge if you're used to that. So uh, what I wanna do is click the camera control button. Now in order to get that window or that menu, you go to window and you make sure your camera control is turned on and that's gonna give you the menu screen on the side. Now there is a video uh, through Lightburn that shows how to connect your camera. It is super, super, super simple. Very, very step-by-step. Step. So you'll do that first in order to get your camera connected. For those of you that don't have our camera, it's totally fine. You're just gonna use this frame option in order to um, know exactly where your cut is gonna be. And we'll do that in a different video. But for now, we're just gonna use the camera control. I'm gonna click update overlay because that's gonna show me exactly what's on my bed right now. Okay, so there is my material. Now I want to um, upload the design. So I'm gonna go file and import. Now you can do open, that's gonna give you a new screen. So if you had some stuff already on here that you wanted to keep, just go to import. And then I'm just gonna find my file. So I think I named it circle. So I'm gonna go down to circle. Press open, so this is gonna uh, import my SVG. 
So I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna say I want the circle right there. Then I'm gonna zoom out and now I'm gonna go to my cut menu, which is right there. And again, if you don't see that, just go to window and then just make sure cuts and layers is checked. And then this is where you're gonna choose your settings. Now it might be trial and error. You can always ask me, I have a Mira 900 watt. So depending on your wattage, your settings are gonna be a little bit different, uh, but you can double click on that. And then this is what it's gonna do. You're gonna choose your speed and your power. Now I'm cutting eighth inch MDF on my Mira 9 100 watt. So I'm gonna do about 45 power and 85, I'm sorry, uh, 45 speed and 85 power. I move the minimum power down to about 75 and then press okay. And then we can send it to the machine to cut. Now you can send it to the machine and then go over to your machine and press start right on the machine, or you can send it from your computer either way by just pressing start. Now my lid is still open, so I need to go close that. So I'm going to send it to the machine, click okay. And then now it's sent it to the machine. So now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna close my lid and turn my fan on, because I didn't have that on before because it was noisy and then I'm ready to cut. So then all I have to do is press start and it's gonna cut my circle right where I wanted it. It's as simple as that. So I hope I gave you a little bit of an idea on how simple it is to do your first cut in your new Mira. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that you might want to align the mirrors at the beginning before you do your cut. Um, there are videos on that uh, to do that. It's actually very simple if you follow um, some instructions. You're just going to need some uh, like masking tape or painter's tape um, and a little bit of patience. <laughs> but once you have that done, uh, then you'll be ready to go. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, hopefully we'll get you guys cutting soon.